criminal prosecutors and law enforcement officers are reportedly furious at Chief Justice Brian Sykes' offer of bail to several accused criminals in recent weeks because of the absence of required forensic files including DNA reports in their cases. The most poignant of Chief Justice's decisions is the matter of Michael Smith and Rajay Walker who allegedly came out on the losing end of a gun battle with a policeman a year ago. Paula Llewellyn, the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, described Justice Sykes' decisions as very unfortunate, which in the context of the judicial propriety is tantamount to a loud rebuke. One unidentified law enforcement operative suggested that because the Chief Justice has security guards with him all the time, he is biased about the security threats faced by ordinary citizens in the country with a high crime rate including around 1,500 homicides annually. While their anger, given Mr. Smith's previous conviction for murder, may not be wholly displaced, their argument requires greater nuance. The attention solely on Justice Sykes give other critical players a pass. Second, the posture suggests a less than enthusiastic embrace of the rights of all citizens to the Constitution's protections. Further, no one should be overly surprised by these decisions given previous actions by Justice Sykes and other rulings elsewhere in the courts that appropriately protect the rights of citizens to fair trial within a reasonable time. But as she has with respect to certain aspects of criminal convictions, Ms. Llewellyn and her prosecutors will soon have the right to appeal the granting of bail with the passage of a new bail act. In the matter of Smith and Walker, in September last year, boatmen allegedly accosted an off-duty policeman at the entrance to his home and opened fire. Mr. Smith, who had recently been paroled from prison after serving eight years of a sentence for murder committed when he was 15, was shot in the eye. He and Mr. Walker were arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearms and shooting with intent. Apparently, when mutterings were raised in the wake of the 400000 bail offered to Mr. Smith, Justice Sykes directed grumblers to the forensic lab or properly the institute of forensic science and legal medicine ifslm whose executive director judith mort has conceded to a backlog of dna reports but who complain of a chronic shortage of staff in 2022 she said that her DNA department received 19,941 samples collected from 9,621 crime scenes. It is not clear how many of these samples were tested, but she suggested that the staff of five forensic officers and an assistant in the Institute's DNA department were insufficient to manage the workload. DNA analysis in straightforward cases could take up to two weeks, Dr. Mowat said. Complex ones could require up to two months. Matters are further complicated by the environment in which IFSLM operates. Because of the climate that we live in and sometimes the time taken to recover and submit the evidence, a lot of DNA samples often reach us degraded, she said, so it involves a more time-consuming protocol to extract the DNA and produce a profile. And neither, she lamented, could five people manage the volume of work the Institute with 80 forensic officers across all departments was at least 40% below what is required. Dr. Mowat is now requesting 
increase funding to hire more staff, which is the right thing to do. Justice Sykes, she feels, should not criticize without being a cognizant of the fact that the mitigating circumstances. However, that is not the Chief Justice obligation, which is the delivery of justice in accordance with the Constitution and the law of Jamaica. Responsibilities for having a properly funded, competent, staffed forensic laboratory rests with a separated arm of government, the executive. In that regard, the judiciary focus was not inappropriately on Section 14 3 of the Constitution's Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom, 3, which mandates that any person who is arrested or detained shall be entitled to be tried within a reasonable time. It appears that in this Smith and Walker matter, the prosecution did not convince the Chief Justice of sufficient case to deny them bail. In June of this year, in Justice Sykes Court in the Trelawney Circuit, 63 cases collapsed because of the failure of the Police Forensics and Cybercrime Division to produce in time reports on the electronic devices allegedly used in lottery scamming. Additionally, there was the appeal court ruling in the Orville Watson case that squashed Mr. Watson's 12-year jail term, albeit after he had served his time, because of a long delay in providing a full transcript of his case in the lower court to facilitate his appeal. His right to a timely review of his conviction was violated, the appeal judges held. However, increasingly, the courts are asserting the rights of citizens to fair hearing within reasonable time, other branches of government should take note and act accordingly, for these rights are universal, not selective. So here you have it. You're going to have a situation where criminals are going to be let back loose on the citizens of Jamaica because of the evidence that are is not available for the judge to look at. As the facilities to make that available is under pressure from not enough staff. And you can just imagine that because with the level of crime that is happening in Jamaica and the evidence needed to get these cases off the ground, you can imagine the pressure that is put on the forensic department. So in other words, does, does Justice Sykes have a choice? Because remember, his obligation is to the laws of Jamaica. So he have to work with what the laws said. You understand? So whatever is preventing the law from working appropriately is not his fault. So that means those agencies going to have to step up what they are doing and with all the crime rate tumbling over every day we're having so much each day they're going to need a lot of staff to keep up with what is going on in jamaica because guess what these criminals not take no off. you understand them going at it and somehow it seems like these criminals are constantly trying to outdo each other and wherever you have a community that is calm and nothing going on, it's like criminals are saying, wait. Or over there, so, so quiet and go on like them are goody goody. And just go up there and just uproot it and just start something. So you don't know what is going on, but something is not, is not right in Jamaica. You understand? As far as I see it, Demo the demons and evil is just let loose upon the land. We need prayers. Anyway, guys, please comment and let me hear you, what you think. If you think Justice Sykes have any choice or could he, based on the knowledge that he has, that 
there's a backlog in the forensic department he could have still just waited like give them another court date and just waited or because there's just so much coming at him he's just saying listen man you have enough of this no you go on this one you have enough of it no you go on or you should just lock them away still and just wait by then imagine the amount of people that would be locked up do we have enough prisons to hold them all please comment and let me know what you think guys